What's more, 11 years after Charles Bronson first went rampaging round the streets of New York killing muggers, we're soon to be blessed with Death Wish 3, which promises to be yet another bloodbath with a stone-faced Bronson mowing down anyone he doesn't much fancy the look of. Lurking behind all this, and normally lurking behind a cigar, the length of a rifle barrel, is the British director Michael Winner, who combines making films of excessive violence with setting up memorials to murdered policemen. Death Wish 3, like its original, is set in New York, but Mr Winner elected to film it south of the Thames down Lambeth Way. Film 85 visited the location. <laughs> awful lot of people get killed. They're good fun uh, murder and mayhem thrillers. Things. You can't go too far from the original concept, which was a citizen avenging against muggers. After all, uh, Rocky didn't become a missionary in Ethiopia, did he? He stayed a boxer. So uh, it's, a, but it's a, a broader canvas of action, a community attacked by gangs and saved by the avenging Charlie Bronson. How could you possibly Who's on the motorbike? Right, who can drive a motorbike? I saw one of them. Now the I'm doing it here because I am English. I support the English industry. The British film here is going to make a lot of publicists rich, but I think that what one has to do if you really support this is employ people. And it's not really cheaper because, as you can see, we've built a very expensive set. All right, you, Ron, get some more chains on them. They look like the sort of people I have dinner with. <laughs> In this third Death Wish film, Bronson is joined by Ed Lauter, who plays the local police chief. See, I grew up in New York City, and I've done nothing but movies everywhere but uh, New York City, and now I get a chance to do it, and it turns out we just do a week in New York City, and then we come back and make New York City in London, you know, so uh, uh, I got a little bit of New York, but uh, they did a great job here. As you can see, it kind of looks like a real derelict area in New York. Well, when we came here, it was totally empty. There had been three hospital wards here which were pulled down so we were just left with derelict land so we had to decide what to do with it in this case it was to create new york in london in lambeth so we laid out the street in a t-junction which gives us the right angles and for the main corner building built the um end bit to mask the new buildings at the end which we wanted to lose and on top of some of the existing buildings which were We've got, we put water towers, fire escapes, which were again very American. Graffiti is another um, important thing of American, or New York, visuals, I always feel. We had an American who came in and did some actual American graffiti for us, if you like, which you'll see all over the site. Since the making of Death Wish 1 and 2, real life has caught up with Mr Bronson's avenging hero. In what many describe as a copycat killing, a vigilante gunman, Bernard Goetz, shot four muggers on a New York subway. The rights or wrongs of his action sparked off a national controversy. We don't say the vigilante is a good guy. We say that society got or would get, and we said this in 1974, that society would get to a point of such confusion that somebody in frustration would shoot a mugger and would be a hero. That is, that a killer or wounder would become a hero. Now, this was 11 years ago. Mr. Getz was a very slow learner if he learned from that film. We were nothing to do with that at all. So what we did do, though, was make this amazing prophecy, which not only happened in the manner we said, but in the place we said, namely on the American subway. Filmmakers take incidents or stories that happen in life. They've done so throughout history and they encapsulate them into little dramas. Films have only been going 60 years, violence has been going for thousands of years. I'm quite sure a Mary Whitehouse clone was outside the Globe Theatre saying this dreadful man Shakespeare has people with eyes being gouged out and heads, severed heads have been carried around on poles, she's saying. A terrible fellow. Makes no difference. People are not angels when they enter the theatre 
and villains when they exit it. They all know these things happen. We dramatise them. I have to say in a perverse way that if Mr Getz is to be tried, which I'm very glad because it looked at one point of view wasn't, I would be delighted if Coincidence had this film opening the same week because he would uh, uh, do us a, an awful lot of good at the box office. Spoken like a true artist, Michael. Mind you, things aren't looking too good at the moment. The film opens in November next month, but no date has yet been set for the Getz trial. Incidentally, if you're moved to wonder who needs Death Wish 3, the answer is presumably the investors do. Death Wish 1 and 2 have already taken $120 million. But now we leave Michael Winner and company doing their own blood-spattered version of the Lambeth Walk and switch to New York itself for setting for Catholic boys. 